Great. Great. Let's begin our yoga on this beautiful day. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our yoga practice today. So give yourself some gratitude and thanks for bringing yourself to class today. Yes. Again, life is about creating habits that are good for us, good habits. And a lot of the, and, no, and just being aware of the bad habits that don't make you feel good or make you feel heavy or, you know, down on things. And I, I used to love to like watch the news all the time just to catch up. And now I find myself like physically, I can feel it physically when I put on and watch too much of the negative, you know, that that comes at me and so I making a conscious decision to not do that or just check in to see what the weather's like check in to see what is going on in the world we have to stay alert but you know to just okay then turn that off and put some music on that I like or read a book that makes me feel good yeah we're responsible for our happiness so so welcome. All right, we're gonna start with, let's just start with shaking. Shake, shake the body and get ourselves nice and loose. Shake off all of our yucky, bad habits. Yeah. And yeah, awareness is. And relax. We're gonna bring our palms up on our lap. We're gonna do alternate nostril breathing. So let's just take a nice big breath in through both nostrils. And just sigh it out. <sighs> just let all the air out of your lungs. And again, take a nice big deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. <sighs> Our breath heals us, right? It gives us energy. It calms us down. It releases toxins. Let's do one more. <sighs> yeah, it uplifts us. It makes us feel happier. You know, I find that when I get up in the morning is the time if I'm going to have any negative going on in my mind, it's the first thing in the morning. And then I find that once I get up and start moving around and I do a little yoga like we're going to do now, you know, like it just changes my attitude, both physically and certainly mentally. And it's probably because I'm just taking in more air after sleeping, right, for eight hours. Yeah. Okay. So again, palms still up on their lap. You're going to take your left hand and touch your point your finger and your thumb. Keep your left hand on your lap. And you're going to take your peace fingers and bring them between your eyebrows. Yeah. And then your thumb is on the right side of the nose and the fingers are on the left. And then get a nice tall spine. So we're not leaning forward here. We're lifting the heart. Relax that right arm as much as you can. And just close your eyes here. If it's challenging to have your hands up on your face, if that's bothersome for you, you can just bring both hands into that little um, chin mudra. Um, and then just imagine the breath going in and out one side or the other. All right. So let's take a cleansing breath in through both nostrils and breathe out both nostrils. Take a cleansing breath in through both nostrils. Gently touch the right side of your nose with your thumb and exhale out the left side. And then inhale through the left side. Gently touch your left nostril and exhale out the right side. Breath is long, the long deep breath. Inhale through the right side again, same side. Touch the right, exhale out the left. Inhale the left side. Touch the left, exhale the right side. So you're making an arch. Inhale the right and continue at your own pace. Exhaling the left. So out and in through one side. And try to relax the breath as you continue on. 
Try to elongate the breath. Longer exhales than inhales. Maybe even pause between each exhale and each inhale. Nice and easy. Your hand is not on your face. You're just imagining that breath going out and in through one side, out and in through the other. See if you can go slower with the breath. Continuing for two more slow rounds. Just notice if one nostril is a little stuffy, stuffed up or plugged up feeling than the other. Just no hurry when you finished at least that next two rounds. The next time that you breathe out your left nostril, relax the breath. Gently float your right hand onto your lap. Release the mudra on the left hand. Keep the eyes closed. And just notice your breath. So this balances our left, right brain spheres. Yeah, left is analytical, right is creative. We need both to survive and be happy in life, to feel balanced in life. And when we get too into the analytical, you know, figuring this out, trying to process this, trying to worry about that, we don't feel very well. And when we get two over to the right side, yeah, then typically not a lot gets done and we get frustrated. So we need both. Good. Bringing a little smile to our face. Whether you feel like smiling today or not, just turn the corners up on your mouth on either side. A gentle little smile. Let that be your constant companion through class today. The act of lifting the mouth into a smile releases feel-good hormones in the brain. Whether it's an authentic smile or just one that you're trying. And when you're feeling ready now and complete, you can flutter the eyes open. So much power in our breath. Yeah. And when we need it most, typically we stop breathing, right? When we get bad news or we get stressed out or, you know, not feeling well, we tend to stop breathing, right? Just right here. And that the body is just screaming, please give me some oxygen. Give me some cal calmness, <laughs> right? So, yeah. So it's important to remember deep breath. Good. All right. So. Let's bring our hands down onto our lap. We're gonna just begin to move a little bit. Please take any poses that we do, anything as we sit or stand, that's not feeling well on your body, then be aware of that. Yeah, the first thing to become happy, right? Find that merrily merrily is to realize that you don't feel well or you are feeling negative and then just First, start becoming aware of those negative thoughts and say, oh, there you are. I see that. <laughs> and just say, you know what? I'm going to go look at that flower for a second and I'll come back to you in a minute. You can talk to your emotions too. All right, take a nice breath in. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Stretch your shoulders back. Good. On an inhale breath, slowly, let's start to roll. All right, you can keep your eyes open here or you can close them, whatever you feel like. So our sight is one of the main uh, balance uh, 
activities that helps us to balance is our eyesight. Stuff. That makes sense, right? To see. So when we sort of turn our head and move around with, you know, not straight ahead, this is good practice for our balance. Yeah, fall prevention. And now at some point when you come forward, turn and oops, do circles the opposite direction. It's also a good idea to get your eyes checked as we age. Make sure you have the right prescription. If you have progressive lenses on glasses like I do, make sure that you're seeing properly through them. Yeah, next time that your head comes forward, pause and slowly bring your body back up. Yeah, that eyesight is one of the main number one, well, main top three disruptions of our balance. So, Get your eyes checked. Okay. Keeping a nice tall spine, relaxing our, our arms down. Let's let's scoot forward a little bit in our chairs now. Keep your stiff bones nice and balanced. Good. And then we're just gonna roll our shoulders. So roll the shoulders forward and up as you breathe in and back and down. Good. And now let's add our arms. Here comes our row, row, row your boat. Right? like you're rowing a boat gently down the stream. You can even sing merrily, 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 like the bud a dream, as I said in my note yesterday. There's a lot of lessons in that little rhyme to last. Now we're gonna go backwards. So rowing the boat forward, I guess going backwards. Would that be making the boat go forward? Yeah, right? It would. Just nice and slow, keeping that little smile on the face. The merrily, merrily is a choice. And relax. Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. All right. And relax the arms down, keeping the arms down now. We're going to gently float the arms out away from our body just a little bit. And to get some nice waking up in our spine, we're just going to start to rock side to side. It always reminds me of like a helicopter blade. Just nice and gentle. And if this is feeling okay, slowly start to raise your arms up a little higher. Yeah. Just nice and easy. Just warming up the spine. And a little twist here. And keep on raising the arms up if that feels okay. Feel a little challenging, but a little challenge is okay. Yeah. Keep the shoulders as relaxed as possible. Maybe at this point, maybe we're shoulder height, maybe not. If that wasn't feeling good on your shoulders, you're just going side to side where it feels good. And maybe some of us can go a little higher. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, good. And just end up finding your range of motion. Yes, your edge here. And once you come as high as is comfortable on your body, and then pause. Good. And then we're gonna bring the palms to, up forward, stretch our fingers wide, and we're gonna draw our chin back. So we're gliding our chin back, as if we wanna stretch the back of the neck. This is a nice pose if you get tight shoulders, yeah, and a tight and a stiff neck. Just doing this a couple times, relax your chin, bring it back to neutral. And then one more time, glide your chin back. Give it your 100%. Try to glide that chin as far back as you can. Make the biggest double chin you possibly can make with a smile and relax. And really relax the arms now, bring the arms again, uh, palms down. And now we're gonna start to rock side to side. How are those shoulders doing? Remind yourself, if your shoulders are getting really tight, pause, remind your shoulders to relax, and then continue on. As we slowly let the arms descend. Good. Nice and slow, no fast movement here. Yeah. Good. And once they come to where you started, Relax, just let the 
arms hang down, let the shoulders relax towards the floor. Yeah, and open and close your fists here. It's nice and easy, getting the blood flow pumping. Your fingers, excuse me, and arms. Good. And relax. And bring your hands onto your lap now. Ha. Notice how your shoulders feel. You can give them a little wiggle. You can wiggle the head a little bit. Get a nice tall spine. As you exhale, slowly turn your head and look over your right shoulder. Give yourself a nice stretch, a little bit more of a stretch in that neck. Sometimes you can even feel that stretch all the way down the left side. Like I feel this on the left side of my waist. Yeah, it's kind of a, a uh, observance of how connected we are. And then on an inhale, breath, relax and slowly bring the head back forward. Take a breath in and exhale, slowly turn and look to the other side. Good. And relax that, slowly let the head come back forward. Yeah, okay. And hands on our thighs, good. Inhale, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, relax the head down, slide your hands forward for cat pose. Let's just do a couple massaging, again, massaging our spine. Inhale, slide your hands up, reach your elbows back, feel your heart open. This just always feels so good. It's like your body is smiling. And exhale, slide your hands forward. Yeah. And one more inhale. And slide up, reach those elbows back. Exhale, slide the hands forward, drop the head. Let's pause here in this cat pose. Good. And then just move the head side to side. Like like you're saying no, but challenge those negative thoughts. I don't mean no, I'm just stretching my neck. Good. Good. And come back to center, good. And then slowly bring the body back up. Straight back up, spine, of the heart is lifted. Let's take a breath in and on an exhale breath, bring your awareness to your low belly, glide it forward. And we're just going to come forward, maybe about halfway, looking down between your feet. Yeah. And then um, if it's available to you, you're going to reach the right arm forward. Straight forward. And then bring it back onto the hand onto your thigh. Then you're going to stretch the left arm forward and bring it back to your thigh. And now you're gonna again, stretch the right arm forward, tuck your belly back, engage your core. If it's available to you, slowly reach the left arm forward, parallel to the right and breathe. This is engaging those deep core muscles, which is so important for our stability to keep us upright. And now bring the left hand back to the thigh, bring the right hand back to the thigh. Press down into your hands and slowly bring the body back up. That also strengthens the muscles in the back, right? But if it was hurting your back, I'm hoping you didn't stay there, right? You came out of the pose. Yes, all of the things we do, I do here are just mere suggestions and everybody's body is different. So if anything feels like, ow, oh, that is not comfortable, that's not yoga, right? You come out just again, another reminder for that. All right, we're gonna bring our legs a little wider apart here. Good. And then we're gonna bring our hands to our heart. Good. And on an inhale breath, reach your arms up towards the sky. Open them wide and bring them out. So we're just doing these beautiful little circles here. Inhale again, arms up, open wide, Reach them gently back and down, if that feels okay. You can do tiny little circles, arms back up. These little tiny circles is fine too. Just take care of your shoulders, good. And let's do one more, just to where it's comfortable for you. Yeah, and out, and, and 
and back to center. Good. And then again, we're going to reach the arms into a Y. One more time. We're going to spread our fingers wide and we're going to wave. Yeah. Back and forth. Just do the queen and king wave. Good. And then relax back. That also helps with stiff shoulders and stiff neck. Just do this for as many rotations as you can. Yeah. And then bending the elbows, bringing your fingers to the back of your head and your thumbs near your jaw here. So just stabilizing the head. Relax your shoulders. And let's take our eyes. Again, that eyesight is important, right? And let's start making circles with the eyes. So believe it or not, this helps the uh, fall prevention, right? Is moving the eyes around in space and then pause and then reverse, go opposite, doing circles. Yeah, it just sends these signals to the brain saying, okay, I've been here before. I don't have to be staring straight ahead and I'm safe and stable. And then blink the eyes, blink, 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 blink. And release and relax and let the arms float back down onto your lap. Good. All right, let's just bring the right, the left hand onto the right side. Right arm down, turn the palm out. Good, press down into your feet. So when you press into your feet, you feel the thighs engage and then slowly lift that right arm up. Okay, and then square your shoulders to the front of the room. Take a breath in and on an exhale breath, reach up and just gently lean over, stretching our right side, right lung, right hip, your little side bend for the spine. And then inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, release that right arm down. And you can bring the right hand now onto the back of your chair. Take a breath in and on an exhale breath, gently press into your feet. So engage your lower body and just slowly turn and look over the right shoulder. Just nice and easy. Yeah. Now bring your awareness to your left leg and see if it came forward and see if you can bring that left knee above that left ankle again. So opening up that left thigh if it came forward. And breathe and enjoy the stretch. Enjoy this moment. If something is uncomfortable or you feel like you're struggling, see if you can just turn back forward a little bit. Find that beautiful place where you're feeling like you're stretching but not overdoing it. On your next exhale breath, relax, slowly turn the body back forward. Nice, good. We're gonna put our right hand onto our left thigh now. Release the left arm down, turn the left palm out. Good, press down into your feet. Again, I love to do that with your hand here because you can feel when you press down, you're engaging these muscles. So that says to me, right, that you can do exercise and strengthen your lower body even sitting in a chair, right? By just pressing down and releasing and pressing down and releasing. And it's so important for us to keep these muscles strong to help us because when we get weak, that's when we tend to fall. Yeah. All right. So left arm reaches out and up. Good. Take a nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale, reach up and lean over. So we're stretching long. You don't have to go far. Yeah. and breathe again taking this see if there's a difference on this side We're finding a gentle stretch here continuing to breathe on your next in inhale breath again press into your feet lift the body back up and exhale release that left arm down nice all right and now bringing that left palm behind you on your chair pressing down when you press down, lift the top of your head up so your spine gets nice and tall. Yeah, take a breath in. And as you exhale, just slowly turn the body and look over to the left. Good. And breathe. Again, find your awareness on that right thigh. 
and see if it pops forward a little bit and see if you can just gently draw it back. So we're opening our hips here. We're doing a little twist, releasing toxins, massaging up the spine. Lots of things going on here that are good for us. And as you exhale, relax everything. Slowly bring the body back forward. Nice, nice work, everybody. And we're going to toe, heel, toe, heel our feet back to hip distance apart. Good. And just shake out the upper body. So we did a lot of upper body stretching here. And then we're going to make our way to a stand. Yes. Good. So sliding the feet back a little bit. Again, you're scooted forward in your chair. So whenever you go to sit and stand up in a chair, try to scoot your hips forward a little bit first. It takes a lot of pressure off that standing. Yeah. I like to bring my heels back a little bit. And then as if somebody has a string on your heart, as you stand up, feel like they're pulling you forward and up. Yeah. Nice and easy. So let's come to a nice slow stand. Good. And let's walk, take a little walk to the back of your chair. And you can just keep your chair right in front of you so you have that handy. Slide my chair out of the way. Yeah. And just move around a little bit. Shake out the feet. Yeah. So one of the main number one reasons that people fall is because they're afraid they're going to fall. Yeah. So you compensate, you stiffen up, you are sometimes overreactive. And by just doing this, practicing this moving around, like we're gonna do, that's gonna help to get that fear away. That's gonna help to build confidence, yeah. And especially if you have fallen already, then that fear just grows, right? And so to do things like this class, like just staying active, that will take that fear of falling and, and, and tamp it down a little bit. And finding those challenging, those negative thoughts. I, I can't go there, I might fall, right? And not to not be careful, but not to have that overriding, I really, I can't fall. So you stop doing things, right? You stop going places because you're afraid you're gonna fall. So just keep yourself active and let's roll out our shoulders. Yeah, all right. Simple little things too. So we're we're just gonna to start to step side to side. Yeah. And even that, taking us off our center line is really good practice for fall prevention. It also helps to strengthen our muscles in our legs. Also footwear. So making sure, I just got a brand new pair of shoes. How do you like them? <laughs> but making sure that you have comfortable shoes, right? That are, make you feel sturdy right yeah good and now maybe add the arms a little bit so i can get start getting our heart rate going by just sliding side to side nice and slow it down good and come back to your stand here. And now let's just start for the little march. So another really important thing when you're walking is to not hunch forward. When you hunch forward, many of us look down, right? You, just that sense of looking down, which is important, but you can still look down and keep your chest lifted. And that's gonna help to keep your joints stacked. And that's gonna help you not fall, yeah. And it's just better for us, right? And so maybe lifting the knees up a little higher. Good, maybe lifting the arms up a little higher. Just this simple march. We do this a lot in our classes, right? And it's just good practice to do that, this, right? Because it gives us strength and it gives us confidence. Good. And slow it down. And if you're feeling like you want to get your heart rate up a little more, you can come into a little jog and you don't have to lift your feet up. You can just lift your heels up. Yeah. And just getting your heart rate going. Also important just for our overall health. You can jog back a little bit. 
and run forward a little bit and run back and just get active. Yeah, there's no only way to do that. It's just simply moving your body. Put some good music on. I always remind my students to do that. Play music that you enjoy. That will uplift you 100% of the time. Yeah, and come back to you. marching. I was listening to the Beatles, to Billy Joel this weekend, <laughs> Pat Stevens, all of that. Yeah, and come back to center. Let's just bring our hands onto our heart. Yeah, and even close your eyes if you'd like. Feel your heart. And give yourself some love. and confidence and joy. That's our true nature. Joy and happiness are our true nature. So just let it come out. No matter what's going on in your life, let that joy and happiness shine. And when you're ready, gently flutter the eyes open, release the arms down. Good. Let's bring your legs a little bit wider apart. Good. Soften the knees. Good. Now we're going to come side to side. Just going to inhale to one side, exhale to the other. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Yeah, just let all that fear, that anxiety, just let it go out the exhale breath. <sighs> Have a sense and know that something big is taking care of you. Ha. <sighs> 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 and one more. Ha. <sighs> and slow it down. Just slow it down. Mm, good. And bring your feet back to our hip, hip distance apart. Find your mountain pose. Good. And we're gonna just do a little back stroke here. So we're gonna reach the right arm up and then turn and, and reach it back. Reach the left arm up and turn it back. And right arm up, like you're doing a little back stroke here. Big breath as you come up, exhale as you come back and bring the body back forward. Now keep those knees soft. I'm gonna inhale and do both. Just both arms up, back a little bit and down. Just circle sweep. Big breath in, exhale it out. So just invite that big breath and exhale and smile on the face. Yeah, and let's just do one more. Ah. And exhale and relax. Good, and roll it out. Good, and shake it out. Good, all right. We get to another little side bend here. So those side bends, and again, all, most of these poses challenge our balance a little bit, or some more so than others, yeah. So we're gonna take the right arm and reach it up, and the left arm and reach it up. Good. And again, you can be in cactus pose here if that's what your shoulders prefer or reaching the arms up. Palms are facing each other. You're gonna take a nice breath in, looking straight ahead, feel nice and tall. And as you exhale, reach up and lean over to the left. Yeah. And take a breath here. Again, you don't have to be far, go far. On your next exhale breath, let the left arm float down. Tuck your belly in if you have any kind of discomfort in your back. Good. Take a breath in and on an exhale breath, see if you can lean up and over just a little bit more. And breathe. Stretch long. Press down into the outside of your right foot. Reach your right fingers up and over to the left. Get such big expansion on your whole right side. And then on an inhale breath, slowly come back up and exhale, let the arms float down, that arm float down. Good. And roll it out. And just close your eyes here if you can, that feels comfortable. And just notice the right arm versus the left arm. And notice if the right arm just feels longer 
more expanded. Yeah, that's what happens when we stretch our muscles and tendons and all that. So let's blink our eyes open if you close them and let's even ourselves out. So on an inhale breath, let's reach both arms up this time all together. Yeah, and again, you can be in cactus pose or reaching up. Good, take a breath in. And as you exhale, soften the knees and reach up and lean over to the right, the opposite side. Good. And again, that it's about going long. It's about stretching long, right? A couple breaths here. Good. Belly's tucked back. That's protecting and stabilizing your low back. And now on the next exhale breath, let the right arm drop down. Good. And bring the palm and lay it onto your side of your right leg. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can reach up and lean over just a little more. Maybe you're already there. Maybe you got a little more in you. Yeah. And then pay attention, press into the outside of that left foot and reach those left fingers up and over to the right. Feel that expansion on the whole right side or left side this time. Yeah. And when you're ready, slowly bring the body back up. And exhale, just release that one down. Ah, so good. And roll it out and shake it out. Okay. All right, we're gonna uh, need our chair here. So we want you to find your chair and step up to the right side of your chair. Okay. Now left hand onto your chair here. Good. And we're gonna come into a little, um, uh, coordination. Uh, we've done this before, um, but it's really great for that uh, spatial, you know, the balance, right? Tr training our brain to, it's okay if our body's in different places, I've got you, you know, I'm safe. Yeah. So we're going to start with bending this knee, this outside knee. So it might be your right knee. Good. And then lift the kneecap up on this left side. Feel this left thigh engage, this inner inside leg. Yeah, good. And now if it, so we're just gonna uh, bring the right arm slowly forward and up. And then we're gonna slowly bring it down. So staring straight ahead, keep a nice tall spine. And then we're gonna bring it forward and reach it out to the right. And then over and to the left. So that's the pattern, good and then come back forward and release it down. So we're just doing that 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock. And now to, if you wanna um, challenge yourself a little bit more, you can bend the knee and maybe even lift the knee. So you're balancing, again, engage this leg, make it nice and strong. And then chair is always there. And now coming up to 12 o'clock with the arm and down to six o'clock and forward, over to the outside and across and forward and down. Good, all right. You might've felt a little wobble there, especially if you had your leg up, so shake it out. And if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you can bring your hands onto your waist. Here you always have the chair here. Yeah, we're looking for a little bit of wobble because when the body wobbles, that's engaging the core muscles to keep us up. Yeah, so again, either bending the knee, that's enough for you, you just stay right there. Maybe lift the knee. Yeah, notice the wobble already, right? Drop that right arm down. Reach the right arm up to 12 o'clock. And grab onto that chair at any time, down to six o'clock. You can drop the toe at any time. Over out to the outside and across the body. Back forward and release. So there was probably wobble there is my guess. Yeah. And again, that's really great practice, right? For engaging the, the, that deep, those deep core muscles that we don't typically feel as we just go about our day. But when we challenge ourselves and we're balancing, that's when they're engaging. So such good practice. Let's go over to the other side, do that same thing. 
Good. So nice tall spine. Good. And then bending this outside knee, engaging that kneecap up on that inside leg. Yeah, good. Now let's just get the pattern here. So reaching the arm up towards the sky and float it down towards the floor. Halfway up, reach it out and across. And forward and release. Good. All right. So take this to where you want to take it on the next one, right? You can lift the knee up if that's available to you, if that's not feeling too much of a strain. Yeah. And you can hold on to the chair. You can just do two rounds just with your hands here, practicing the wobble, you decide. So either bent knee or knee lift. Again, engage your, squeeze your glute muscle on this right leg. Good. Lift the heart, stare straight ahead. You can start with holding on or stay holding on. Reach the right arm up and, or the left arm and down. Forward and out to the side and across and forward and release. All right. So now the third one, you take it to what you think it would be your, your edge, right? What would be your biggest challenge, right? But continuing to stay upright and continuing to breathe. All right. So you can start with hands on hips if you want. Yeah. And then bending the knee. So even that doing it, not lifting the knee, it without holding on is a challenge. Yeah. If you want to lift your knee here, that's an option. I'm already <laughs> challenged without even the arm. Release the left arm down. Slowly lift the left arm to the sky. And slowly stare at a spot. That kind of helps. Again, you can always drop the toe down to the floor. Reach the arm forward. Reach it out to the left and reach it across to the right and forward and release yeah and dropping down it's a great practice really great practice to uh, train the brain and the body to keep yourself upright and roll it out mm, good okay let's just come into a little wide leg so you can uh, come to the back of your chair here. Come to the a little bit wider stance here, bringing your hands onto your hips and just glide your hips over to the left, to the center, over to the right. So getting a stretch to this inside um, thigh, right inside leg. Again, I, I, I mentioned this a lot, you know, these muscles on the inside of your uh, legs, get a little bit lazy and um, don't get a, the, as much of a workout because these big thighs and these big hamstrings usually take all the work. Yeah, so it's nice to pay a little attention to them sometimes. Just give them a little stretch. Good, and come back to center, good. And then toe, heel, toe, heel, or step, step, step your feet back to hip distance apart. Relax, let's just do a little nice long back stretch with our downward facing dog. So coming to the back of your chair here. Again, if you know your drill and your down dog, you can have your hands on the seat of your chair. Let's make sure our chairs don't slide, but we're gonna place your hands on something. The back of your chair is nice because it's, it's up a little bit higher. Yeah, if that's what you need and want. And then just start to step back. One foot at a time, as far back as you can go. Yeah. And when you've reached how far you can go, soften your knees. Relax your head in between your arms. And start to stretch your hips back towards the back wall and reach your fingers forward. And just get as nice and long on the whole back body. This should feel nice after all of that challenge, right? It should feel nice. And breathe. Okay. 
and just enjoy. If you want to do a little hamstring stretch, you can straighten one knee and then bend it and straighten the other knee. So you'll feel that little bit of a deeper stretch in the hamstring. And then just alternate, straightening and bending the knee just a little bit and to stretch that glute and hamstring. And then if you want to straighten both knees, reach your hips back, gently stretch your fingers forward. And feel that stretch all the way down your back, down the back of your legs. And then release, soften your knees, look forward and start to take a little walk over back to your chair. Yeah. Once there, lift the shoulders, lift the head, relax the arms down. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Lift your palms up, lift your heart and look up. If that's available to you. Yeah. And breathe. And just tell that just say to yourself, I am safe. I am safe. I am grounded. And then bring the head back forward, bring the palms together and release your hands down. Okay. All right. And just shake out, shake out any tension that you might have built up. Roll out your shoulders. Good. It might feel kind of nice to get a little bit wider stance again and just very easily back, you know, side to side. And you can take your hands in little loose fists and just tap your glute muscles back there. Or you can go a little higher and tap your sacrum back there. It'll get a little kidney energy going. We did this on last Friday when we did our kidney meridian. Yeah. It gets that flow going. So we can learn to go with the flow. Yes. And slowly back out yeah good and step 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 your feet back together and we're going to take a little walk back to our chairs here so finding the front of your chair good all right planting those feet also using your toes a lot that really helps with our stability but our toes have kind of gotten lazy since the invention of shoes <laughs> but we really use our two toes a lot to but, Careen us forward to stabilize us. So pressing your toes down into the floor. Start to send your hips back. Yeah, just kind of like what we just did in that downward facing dog. And let's pause here for a second. Pressing into the toes. Yeah, sending your hips back. Allow your knees to be almost stacked above your heels. They're probably a little forward. Yeah, and then you can grab the front of your chair and ever so easily let your hips float down to your chair yeah the more we practice that the more sitting and standing right that's one of the things that if you get a, a balance check or a strength check as you get older that's one thing they'll have you do is sit and stand for like a minute and see how many times you can do that so hopefully this will help you pass your test <laughs> next time you have one of those all right, we're gonna just be a sit forward here a little bit. And just kind of come into a nice little back bend here. So taking your hands, sliding them back. Yeah, and just like you're flying. Lift your heart and look up and breathe. Nice long deep breaths into your chest. And as you exhale, relax, bring your head back forward and now grab onto the back of your chair. Good. Now we're gonna do a little bit deeper twist by bending our elbows back towards the chair. So take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, you can look up slightly and just start to bend your elbows. Like you wanna touch your elbows to the back of your chair and feel that amazing opening in the chest. This really helps us because one of the things that as we get older, we start looking down more. We start rounding our back more and it takes us off balance. So this pose is just doing the opposite, right? It's allowing us to stay upright. We have a nice tall spine. 
and shoulders st stacked above our hips instead of forward. And then exhale, you can release that and relax the body. Good. Continuing to hold on to your chair, take a breath in. And as you exhale, just allow the body to draw forward. Oh, relax the neck. Good. Breathe. Each time you exhale, allow the body to just soften forward. And on your next inhale breath, press down into your feet and slowly bring the body back up and release. We're gonna do a little bit more squeezing before we go into Shavasana um, with our body. So we're gonna find our seated eagle pose. Good. So take a breath in and as we exhale, we're gonna come forward. All right. We're gonna challenge ourselves again by extending our arms forward before we go into eagle. So see if you can reach your right arm forward, straight forward, tuck your belly back, press into your feet. See if you can extend your left arm forward and see if this feels a little different this time. Yeah, do you feel stronger? Maybe, yeah. One more breath and exhale. Bring your left hand back to your thigh, bring your right hand back to your thigh. Relax the shoulders. Staying where you are, we're gonna grab behind our right knee and on an inhale breath, we're gonna press into your feet, lift your body up, and we're gonna hug that thigh into our, our um, belly. And let's just do a couple circles. Boy, my new shoes are really white on the bottom. <laughs> and reverse. Yeah, I feel like a duck or something. And then just take that leg and either cross it over or cross at your ankles, whatever feels best on your body. Good. And find that nice tall spine. I can't exaggerate that enough. Is if we just, when we sit, you know, when we walk, to not lean or come forward, that creates the tendency to fall because our, our weight is off balance. It's forward, right? So when our shoulders are back, that'll keep us upright. Relax the arms down, arms float out to the side, bring the palms forward, take a breath in, and as you exhale, bring your arms forward. Good. Let's take the left arm above the right and cross as high up as you can, and let's just give yourself a hug. Yeah. Scoot your fingers back onto your shoulder blades to tighten up your hug a little bit. Lift your elbows up. Good. Take a nice breath in. You can come into eagle arms if you like to do that today, if that's what you'd like. And as you exhale, just allow the upper arms to rest on your chest. Allow the head to just rest forward. And we're gonna give our 100% and squeeze. We're gonna squeeze out all the, the stuck uh, fluid in our lymphatic system, all the stale air in our lungs. So let's take a breath in. And as we exhale, squeeze your arms, give yourself a big hug, squeeze your legs together, engage your pelvic floor muscles up as you, if you wanna lift them off your chair and squeeze your whole body, squeeze your toes, but keep breathing, don't stop breathing. Yeah. And just give yourself the nicest squeeze and it's just, again, stopping the blood flow in certain areas of the body yeah, that's good because we're going to send the blood flow back in a rush when we relax. One more breath. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale. Oh, relax the whole body. Nice. We're going to press down into that left foot. So lift the head back up. We're going to lift the arms up off our chest and start to lift them higher as we uncross the arms. Yeah. And just blossom open, just like the beautiful, now it's the irises that are popping open versus the daffodils and the tulips and the irises and probably a lot more. <laughs> and relax, pansies are happy. And then uncross and good. And wiggle it out. Now we're just gonna go over to the other side. Good, all right. And on an, uh, so take a breath in, 
and exhale forward, clasp behind the left knee now, and give yourself a nice hug, that low belly. Yeah, let's do a couple rotations so you can see my new shoe on this side. <laughs> and relax and either cross over the leg or the ankles. Find your tall spine, relax the arms down. Inhale, flow the arms out, relax the shoulders as the arms are coming up. Take a breath in, exhale, bring the arms forward. Reach the right arm higher. Come to an X with your arms. Come up as high as you can. Bend the elbows. Grab your shoulders. Scoot your fingers back. Good. Nice tall spine. Lift the elbows up slightly. As you exhale, relax the arms onto your chest. Let the head just drop down. Let's squeeze. Take a breath in. And exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your legs together, your arms together, squeeze and breathe and breathe and squeeze. Lift those pelvic floor muscles up, engage your low belly, that core, yeah. And squeeze everything, even your face this time and your ears, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, get rid of all those tops and just squeeze them out. Yeah, squeeze, 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 one more big breath. And as you exhale, whew, relax, soften the whole body as if your body is just melting. Yeah, good. Press down into your right foot to slowly start to lift your head and lift your arms, reach them up and out. And again, blossom open. It's beautiful time of year, grass is green and it's greener on my side, not the other side. <laughs> and uncross, that's a good way to look at it. And wiggle it out. So when we constrict parts of our body for a while, squeeze, 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 and then we release, we're just dumping this fresh flow of blood into those areas. Yeah, all right, let's get ready for Shavasana here. So scooting back into your chair, feet planted on the floor, Palms up on your lap, high up on your thighs. That keeps those shoulders back. Yes. And you can be laying down as well on the floor if that's what you like. And close your eyes. And good. And just feel the body begin to relax completely. Allow the body to relax. Yes. You are safe. And take a breath in and let it go. Releasing any last bits of tension in the body. Let's do that two more times. Take a breath in, even pause there and then let the breath out. <sighs> and one more breath in. And breathe out. Body starts to relax. And allow yourself the shoulders to soften the heart. Relax the arms and the fingers. Feel your belly soften, your thighs, your hips, your legs, and toes.
mind is wandering, just let it run free. Let the thoughts run around, come and go. They will eventually tire themselves out. Bring a little smile to your face. And just for this next minute, just be. Nothing to do, no place else to be but right here, right now. Gently bring your awareness to how you feel. Feel free to remain here for as long as you like. And should you choose to come back now slowly into this time and space, begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Start to sway the body as if you're just slowly waking up from a deep sleep. And coming back to stillness, float your hands into prayer position. Bring your thumbs onto your beautiful heart. And take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, bow your forehead to your fingertips, relax your shoulders. And we'll close practice today with this. Energy flows where the mind goes. Remember your mind is a powerful thing. It drives the bus most days. We are our thoughts. So let your days be fueled by strong, positive thoughts. When you're feeling ready and complete at your own pace, gently begin to flutter the eyes open. Lift your gaze. I thank you all for coming and taking care of yourself on this amazing day. Hopefully you'll row, row, row your boat gently down the stream all day long. Um, have a lovely, beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.